Hello everyone, my name is Janish Rana and today I am coming up with my third video for CKAD exam. Today my topic is this application environment configuration and security and it has a weightage of 25%. Although you will observe 4 or 5 questions from these topics. I am not sure you will get some questions from these topics. So let's jump into the, our third topic that is understand request limit and quotas. The question would be that you need to use this context. Create a pod that requests a certain amount of CPU and memory. Now we need to perform some tasks. First is to create the namespace and the namespace name is project-1. After that we need to create a pod and the name of this pod should be this. In the project-1 namespace that we created earlier that require a minimum of 200 M CPU and 1 gig memory for its container. When we are talking about resources, we should know request and limit. Request means minimum amount of resources it can consume. Request minimum. Kubernetes scheduler will check the node if it can create a pod with this minimum resources. Let's take an example that if we are going to create one pod and we are allocating 5 GB RAM or maybe 100 gig the space then our Kubernetes scheduler will check on which node I can create this pod. This is for request. Limit it means maximum amount of requests a container can demand. The kubelet and the container runtime enforce the limit. If application inside the container demand more resources example allowed amount of memory then the system kernel terminate the process that attempt the allocation with an out of memory OOM error. I hope now it is clear what is the meaning of request and limit and here it says minimum it means request. It can request minimum 200 M. Now we understand limits and request for CPU resources are measured in CPU units. In Kubernetes, one CPU unit is equivalent to one physical CPU core or one virtual core depending on whether the node is physical or virtual machine running inside a physical machine. Limits and requests for memory are measured in bytes. You can express memory as plain integers or fixed point. For an example, 500 megabytes equal to 500 MI or 500 megabits. Now it is clear that why we are using M here and what is the meaning of GI here. GI for gigabit. The port should use Nginx image here. If we get this type of question in exam, then how we can resolve this? The very first one is copy the command that is mentioned in the question that you need to use this context. Just copy and paste it on the terminal. After that, we can create the namespace. This is what kubectl will create ns or namespace project one what is mentioned in the question. After that you need to go to the kubernetes.io webpage or maybe resource you can click on the resource button in the browser in the exam browser or not click on documentation here. After that resources search for resources. In the first URL it is mentioned that resource management for port and container. Open the next tab. We have been asked to create the pod. For that reason we just scroll down and look for pod manifest file where it is says limit and resources request. This is what we need. Till here copy and paste it in one file like this one. Here I have modified the name that is mentioned in the question. After that namespace, nginx image that I need to use and this column resources, request, memory and CPU. All these things I have copied from the kubernetes.io webpage only. Memory is 1 gig and CPU is 200 M. That's it. Once it's done, we can create the pod object. After that, we can use kubectl get pod minus n project hyphen one because we 
we created this pod inside this project one namespace. One thing we can also do, cubes, we can execute this command kubectl n project hyphen one describe pod and this pod name that is engineering resources grep minus capital A. A is for after two minus I request. You will see, you will observe two lines that is CPU and resources. This is what we can do for the post checks. If you go to my GitHub page and click on CKAD, click on the topic that is application environment and click on lab. This is the question that I was discussing about it. And if you wish to create this lab on your own VMs or laptop, then you need to know that what configuration I need to do or what modification I need to perform. If you create this lab on your own VMs, execute kubectl config view. And here you need to check the cluster name and username. After that, you can create the context, but just you need to modify these two values. That's it. Here I'm copy and paste it over here. It's created. And after that, this is the question we were talking about. kubectl use context. So it used the context here. Switch to context. Create namespace. I created the namespace here. YAML file. I copied one YAML file and then create the object with the help of this YAML file. Let me clear the window. Now execute this command kubectl get pod name and it is running. It's good. And if I execute this command, it shows that 201 gig. If this is the case for you, it means that you have completed this question correctly. Let's move forward. Our next topic is understand config map. I believe that you will get one question from here. Let's understand what type of question they may ask you. Your task is to create a config map and consume this config map in a pod using volume mount. Tasks need to be performed or completed. Create a config map named another config containing the key value pair is this and key is this and value is this. Whatever the key and value they will ask, just update. After that, create a pod name, this one, and should have Nginx image and mount the key you just created in the previous step and mount it in the directory data config. Okay. Just for your information that a config map is an API object used to store known confidential data in key value pair. Pod can consume config map as an environmental variable, command line argument, or as an configuration file in a volume. In this question, it is asked us to consume config map as a volume. Try to resolve this question. The very first command I need to execute is kubectl config use context and whatever the context name it is. Just paste it over here. After that, we need to open kubernetes.io webpage, click on documentation and search for config map volume. Let's go here config map volume in the description of this link it is mentioned that add config map data to a volume it means that this is the correct url for us let's open it and how to create the config map this is the command line that we need to use i will show you in couple of minutes map and data source This port manifest file is for ENV, but we are looking for volume. This is for ENV from again. Now this is what we are looking for. Just copy this manifest file in one file and modify the values. This is the config map that I found. Just need to modify. And here, first we need to create the config map and the command is kubectl create config map and the name of the config map hyphen hyphen from literal equal to key equal to value. This is what it is mentioned in the question. Key is my key seven and the value is value five. 
and don't forget to use equal sign here now we have created the config map this is the animation that i created here after that i created a pod manifest file same thing it you will observe here just modify the name images mount path that is data config and the config map name is another config this is mentioned here let's move forward we have created the manifest file for this question after that just use the create command kubectl create minus f and the file name that i have used here after that we can execute kubectl get pod and it should be in running state and if we execute this kubectl execute minus it and then pod name hyphen hyphen command that is cad data config this is what it is mentioned here slash key 7 this file it will be generated and inside this file i should see value 5 this is what i have observed here and here i just add echo so that you will see the good output here let's go to our github page the second question is saying this thing use the context we are already in this context but for the sake of practice i'm just using this command here open the url and search for this and first i need to create the config map okay i need to i need to create this namespace first here now again execute this command due to this context i have bind that i need to have this namespace you can ignore this error for now now we have created the config map and if you go to the kubernetes web page and at the top if you do not remember the command then you can use you can get it from here kubectl create config map and then config map name and then data source or maybe you can use hyphen hyphen literal okay after that i need to create the pod manifest file here just right click control l create this object in spot let's see if i'm getting this pod or not yes my pod is running here and if i execute this command i have already explained what's the meaning of this command it will open this file and if i use you know like this one i will see value 5 here so for that reason you know you will see the good output here i use this one here value 5 this is what it is mentioned in the question value 5 key 7 file and inside this file the value 5 is the content of the file here now we have completed our this topic that is understand config map is completed let's jump to next one that is define resource requirement again i'm not sure you will get some question from this topic if in the exam if you observe a question from this topic then don't forget to mention in the comment section it may help other candidates it's not like that you have cleared the paper and then forget it create and consume secret i guess one question will be observed from this topic maybe in the exam you will ask to create a secret and then attach to the port let's have a look into this what type of question they may ask you again the very first one is that you need to use this context your task is to create a secret and consume the secret in the port using environmental variable create a secret name app secret one with the key value pair is this one start the nginx pod and the name of this pod is this using the container image is this and add the environmental variable exposing the value of the secret t30 using bash variable as the name of the environmental variable inside the pod like config map pod can consume secret as an environment variable command line argument or as a configuration file in a volume in this question it has asked us to consume secret as a environmental variable 
first we need to use the context and after that go for kubernetes io web page documentation search for secret env this is the key okay let's go here and search for secret env here you will observe env so it means that this is the good one let's open in the another tab here and look for pod manifest file this is for secret skip it go down go down here it is the pod manifest file but this example is for volume it means this is not for us for now in this documentation you will not found the env but if you look this document carefully it will say that there is one link file define container environmental variable using secret data inside this using secret as an environmental variable in this section you will see the another link just click here now you can create the secret with the help of this command kubectl create secret and then generic and then your secret name hyphen hyphen from literal equal to your key and equal to your value just for your information that i have already uploaded config map and secret videos on my youtube channel if you wish to deep dive into these topics then you may watch these videos i have added the links in the description of this video okay and this is my manifest file here just copy this manifest file and open a new terminal and paste the content here the very first command that i'm going to use is kubectl create secret generic app secret this is the name it is asked us app secret this is the name is here app hyphen secret from from literal key is 30 value is 4 whatever the they mentioned maybe they mentioned that you know zone equal to 200 or zone equal to bombay whatever it says after that I just copied this manifest file from the Kubernetes.io web page here. And after that, I created one file here. And inside this file, the name is nginx secret. This is what it asked. Image is nginx. Name is best variable. Any name they, they will ask you, right? And value from secret reference. This is what I copied from here. And the name is app secret. This is what we created here. And this is what it asked in the question. And the key is 30. This is what it says. I'm giving my 100%. You will understand why I have written everything here with the help of animation. So please guys like and support me. After that, we can use kubectl create minus F and the file name is this one. This is what I used. You can use kubectl get pod and genx secret and it should be running. But don't forget to create the secret. If you forget this command, your pod will never come in running state. Obviously, we can use, we have to do post checks here. For that reason, I just use kubectl exec, the port name, and print env. How to print the environmental variable? We can use print env and pipe grab best. This is what it is look for here and the value is 4 and this is the value here 4 if this is the case it means you have completed this question successfully now we have completed this question let's move to second last one that is understand service account again one question will be coming from this the very first thing is that you need to use this context and after that there is one deployment web app is running under the namespace is project production the task you need to perform is update the web app deployment to run an app service account this service account is already created for you in the exam if not then you can create it by yourself kubectl use this command here and after that kubectl minus n project production the namespace this is what it is defined here describe deployment web app grab minus i service you will 
see nothing. This is the pre-checks before doing this question. Now open the Kubernetes.io web page and search for service account. And then added the YAML file here. Before that, so let's open the Kubernetes.io web page and look for service account. Configure service account for pod. This is what we need. But actually we are running a deployment, but it's okay. And here we just need a service account name. This information we are looking for here. And you see that it is specs of pod. It says specs of pod. It means that in exam, if we execute this command, kubectl added deployment and the deployment name is this and then project production. This is the namespace. If we add it, you will observe that the spec section is here, but we need to add inside the container spec section and just add one line and the indentation is with container service account name. It mentioned in my example, it is mentioned app. So I just added here app. That's it. Just save the file scape colon WQ. That's it. And after that, when you execute same command that we executed previously, you will observe the service account name is app here. That's it. And for you, if you want to practice at home for this question, first you need to create the project namespace, create the deployment here, create the service account. This is the syntax here, short form service account. And then edit the deployment. I believe that we can do this lab here. Secret, I'm just skipping here. It's simple. Let's focus on the fourth question that is deployment service account one. Let's create the lab first here. So I just copied, clear the window first and paste all these commands here. Project production is already there because in the previous question for config map, I created the project production namespace manually. So it's okay for you. And now use this context just for the practice purpose. I'm just executing this command here again. And after that service account, and I know that service account name I need to add here. Check for service. It is not here. Now added this deployment, which is running inside this project production namespace in exam. Any namespace will be there. And now in the deployment, there is first specs is here. The second specs is beneath here. And I need to add one line here that I'm going to copy from service account name. Copy till here. Control C. Now press Shift capital O or Shift O. That's it. And Shift insert and app. This is what it is required. That's it. Service account is also created in the prerequisites of my lab. When I created this lab, at that time, I also created the service account here. Okay. So for that reason, I'm not getting any error message here. If I execute this command again that I executed previously, now I should see service account is equal to app. That's it. Now, how to clear the lab? Just copy here. Paste it over here. You will observe some error messages because I've not performed the secret lab for that reason. I may observe some error message here. It's okay. Now jump to the next topic that is understand application security. And again, I don't think so that you will get some question from here. If you like this video, then you may want to watch next CKAD topic video. It is here. In my YouTube channel, all videos are free, but you can support me by doing donation on my PayPal account. That's it for today video.